stopped me before. Could it be a Merlin trial? Incendio. Expelliarmus. Protego. Incendio. Incendio. Hogsmeade, here I come.
This place has seen better days. Thinking in terms of good and evil merely indicates a limited imagination. Oh. 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 They have an intruder oh. in our midst. Confringo! Oh. 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 One's going to regret oh. his best passing. That's all you are. Incendio. Accio. Potato. Trick. No. Accio. No. One less poacher in the wizarding world. Clever? How offensive. Next. Fine, a genius. Happy oh. now. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguy statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the fewer of these statues I see, the better. <laughs> uh, you keep your eye out for others, and I'll teach you more about Alahamora. I'll keep an eye out for more demiguy statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor. Especially since they can only be collected at night. Fortunate to have a student brave enough to eradicate. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguy statues? I'm sorry to say I haven't found any more. Oh, how unfortunate. I was hoping you'd found them and remove those blasted moons. Where should I look for more demiguy statues and moons? 
couple of my usual haunts, which incidentally have now become quite haunting. Here in the castle, in Oxmead, and believe it or not, in some of the surrounding hamlets. Oh, my tormentor is nothing if not thorough. Kept me from all my usual engagements for an eternity now. I'll keep an eye out for more demigod statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor. Especially since they can only be collected at night. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. That item is of the highest quality. 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 You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you.
nice doing business with you. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I <sighs> can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Only a hairy heart. Uh, Protego! Hey you, Gryffindor. Amelda Rays? Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose.
I'm getting used to. Success. <laughs> now that's more like it. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. There you are. The cross one's duel is to beat. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. This is rather fun.
you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Wheats, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Rays must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Again, I've got spectacular news. The broom upgrade's ready. <laughs> Stop by the shop when you can. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track.
Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Awful when they ask you a question now, isn't it? Crummy little faces. I'll just die. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Rebellion. Rebellion. Alohomora. Rebellion.
Levioso. Alohomora. Revelio. Alohomora. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. Looks promising. This looks like the portrait from the map. And where's the treasure? Accio. <laughs> there was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Revelio. Accio. Incendio. Levioso.
Revelio. Expelliarmus. Accio. Alohomora. Incendio! Revelio! Revelio. Let me use it. Revelio. It's never been this long. I just know something's happened. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well... I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Into. 
I hope Adelaide's Uncle Roland is all right. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. This be Mr. Oakes's campsite? Renrock's loyalists, just ahead. Should I take them by force or be discreet? Oh, how long for a bacon and mushroom shop? Why is a grapple you are? Now to find out what happened here. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Mr. Oakes' trade journal. Revelio. Rebellion. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Rebellion.
rock formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. No. Rebellion. What do we have here? Not your best moment. Accio! 